One of the things I love about LA Family Housing is they provide homes. Um, they provide a safe place for people that would otherwise be on the street. My longest relationship in Los Angeles was with Ruben Diaz, who just passed away recently. So it's, it's um, extra dear to my heart that I'm receiving this award right now. Ruben, the guy who used to run at the time was called Cherno House. He tells us about a lady who's coming, her name is Tay. We just connected. I don't, I can't explain what it was that connected us. Last Christmas, Ari Opena, who, who was a child here in the shelter, um, stood across from me handing out toys and things and, and with tears in his eyes he said, I will continue to come back here and bring my children here to help give back. Alfonso Mendoza is, is such a special young man. He actually walked into the shelter as a volunteer and um, ended up working with the shelter. Tay out of, out of nowhere comes, she sets up scholarship on the first recipient. She helps me out with the tuition, which is a big relief off my back. I'm able to finish college, become the first uh, uh, stu you know, first person in my family to uh, complete a college education. So Tay invited me to go to Hawaii as a chaperone with the kids. That inspired me to go ahead and um, like travel on my own. Tay gave me that kind of push. One of my greatest days with Myra was taking her to get her first glasses. She had told me that she couldn't focus in school and she was having a hard time learning because she couldn't see. I started to lose my vision at school and my parents couldn't afford to get me some pair of glasses. And so Tay, she said, well, let's go. And she helped me throughout the whole thing. So it was my first time getting my glasses. She wrote me a note after and she said, Tay, I just want you to know that I know that you love me and I feel how much you love me. And I want you to know that I love you back that much too. And I just thought if I've accomplished nothing more in life but to let someone know that they're loved, then I've done something wonderful. She became more than just a friend, you know, it was, she's like a family that really looked out for me. One of my longest relationships with children at the shelter is Carla, Damien. I moved into the homeless shelter when I was eight years old. That's the first time I ever met Tay. I remember her painting my face and I actually asked her if I could paint her face and she said it was okay. I told her that I was pregnant and it made me feel so good because she's always been there for me. Fabricio constantly jokes that when he lived in the shelter, Ruben would call him the troublemaker or that he was the kid that was always in trouble. I mean, I met her when I was eight, I'm gonna be 26 now. A lot of you had never been in a pool or, or couldn't swim before? I couldn't swim before, but Tay and they want to show me how. And I could swim. We took him to do things like we went to the Coast Guard Air Station in Los Angeles and he saw the guys in uniform and got to try the uniform on as a little as a little kid. And we took him to Annapolis and he got to see the guys in uniform. And, and I remember he was about nine years old and he looked at me and he said, when I grow up, I'm going to serve my country. Mm. Tay has had a lot of influences in our life. I mean, to the point where, you know, I based my career off of the exposure of Annapolis and going to Washington and seeing the Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers, seeing the men in uniform, and just seeing how everybody just had such high respect for those in uniform. And Jessica is life-altering. Um, she's in high school now, and I literally, alongside Ruben, helped give birth to her in the children's room at the homeless shelter. Tay, Tay is such an amazing person. I was born in a shelter home and she was there. She was there to hold me. It was inevitably the children from the homeless shelter that I was working with that inspired me to start my own foundation. Um, a Chance for Children, which was originally Camp Baywatch from the television series, um, provides programs for kids in the four toughest gang neighborhoods in Los Angeles. Where the shelter is located, it's, it's, you know, it's, in, you know, it was gang infested at the time. Tay, like a trooper, would bring in the kids, like escorting the bus, make sure all the kids got home safely. And I think at times I would hear their friends, like, you shouldn't go with them, you shouldn't, like, you know, just leave them go. But she would be, like, right tailing the bus, making sure that the, the kids would get home safe. We try to see kids through from kindergarten to college, give them things to do to stay busy, to have dreams, to aspire. She's part of my life and I thank God that I have her. She's going to be there in our lives and not only mine and 
my little one. She's that one person in your life that just comes in your life, changes it. She kept in touch with us and, and, and that was, you know, most of her making. She wanted to know that we were in better standing now. LA Family Housing is honoring me with the Dream Builder Award this year. And the truth is, I'm forever grateful and thankful to you, LA Family Housing. Ruben and I have had a long, ongoing relationship. That's true. Uh, yeah, now I've been working for LA Family Housing for uh, 20 years. If you visit the shelters and look around the building, you, you can see pictures of Tay everywhere. <laughs> so Tay is our shelter, our shelter is Tay. I remember once Ruben Diaz was at my office and he was looking around my office at all the pictures. It was just like wall to wall pictures of the kids everywhere. And um, he said, Tay, I know you're a writer and you always talk about winning an Oscar. And he said, but look around. Here's all your Oscars on the wall.